Alright guys, Tom Vapes here. Got another review for you today. Um, I'm going to re be reviewing this oh, Chiyu clone from um, Fast Tech. Uh, I'm going to try and do this quick as I've got a lot of work to do today. So, um, going to review this. I'll go to close up cam and show you it all and then we'll give it a quick vape um, also got the iOS to go with this uh, so look here it is but I've um, these have literally just come with the postman so I've not even set it up or anything yet so I think I'll do another another video for this so let's go to close up cam. Right then, so this is the uh, Fast Tech Chi U. Um, see there the Chi U logo, that Chinese writing on the back, and then the product number, which obviously is all just for sure on this. and style of mojo on the bottom there so reverse threaded locking ring and it's bottom firer and this it's got ve it's got a tiny throw on it there it? but when the battery's in it's even a little bit shorter than that it's very small throw on the battery so let's take it all apart uh, I went for the one with the silver plated uh, connections and I've checked it and I think it is actually silver plated rather than chromed like you'd expect with the price you pay for this. Uh, I'll mention the price at the end um, just so you know what you're going to be paying. Vent hole in the bottom just in case you get, uh, if you're very unlucky and you get a vent in battery. So that's that section. The stainless steel on these is probably the best I've seen on any clone and the thickest definitely by far the thickest and the threads are the threads are lovely there would be no sharp bits no nothing on them they're pretty perfect those threads now this section here this little section oh, it's only necessary if you're using it with a with a kick, which I'm not going to be today, so I'm not going to put that section back on. Um, these engravings are laser etched as well, it says, and they are embedded quite deep as well. They're definitely good. As you can hear, those threads are lovely. If you're bothered about threads, I'm not that bothered. So, this top section has got a uh, 510 threading in there. It's not ego threaded. Not that I suspect anyone will want to put anything that's ego threaded on this. Um, and this section here, this little pin, winds out to stop battery rattle. Um, so your battery sits on the bottom there and this section you just screw it out or screw it in whichever to get it to connect to your battery so there's no battery rattle and then the bigger part of it that bit there screws in and out and it adjusts the pin in there to make your whatever device you're using sit flush on the top um, And then obviously you've got just a little airflow ring here as well. So I'm going to put it back on camera, which I don't think I normally do, and stick a battery in it, and I'll show you how that all works. So I've got a battery here that's been off charge for a quarter of an hour or so. Uh, this section on 
and obviously this ring don't need it because I'm not putting a kick in it and then you just screw that on and there's a bit of bat battery rattle so just take it back out unscrew that a little bit screw it back in still a little bit but less you can feel it moving not as far inside and we're on that was just the that was just the locking ring there's still a tiny bit tiniest turn and there you go no battery rattle perfect so we'll go to uh, normal cam and we'll give it a vape <coughs> right then so back to close up, uh, normal cam sorry I've stuck my Ithaca or Ithaca on it I think that looks pretty cool um, I'm going to give it a quick vape with this and then I might just end the video um, this tank desperately needs a recoil that's not mucky liquid by the way that's the colour of it um, it desperately needs a recoil so I think I'll do that um, quickly just before I give it a vape oh, first I think that sits pretty flush on there, that looks pretty cool so um, what I was just going to show is the reason I bought the iOS uh, which is also a Chi I think this is it here and what it does I've taken the top, the 5 or uh, 510 connection off here and this little tank just screws ooh, if I can get it to work yeah there we go just screws straight on there and I think that looks awesome it is heavy that there with the battery and this is one solid piece of kit it's like a brick. Anyway, so we'll give it a give it a quick vape, and then I'll uh, I'll quickly recoil the Ithaca, and then we'll give it another vape. So as you can see, now it's all in, no battery rattle. You can't even see my finger move. I can just that's the throw, it's tiny. Tiny throw. So let's give it a go. See, so see, it's not, not bad at all. But I'm definitely going to recoil this, and then I'll just give it another. Quick. Right, guys. So I've um, done a quick rebuild on the Ithaca. Um, and as you can see it looks pretty good on there uh, juice I filled it up with is apple pie and custard by Totally Wicked uh, no healthy vape uh, it's a 70% VG so it's quite heavy VG um, coils are running at about 0.8 ohms um, Obviously, I'm using some pretty decent batteries, seeing as I'm below one ohm. Um, I'm not sure whether the liquid's properly soaked in yet, but I'll give it a quick vape, and then you can uh, see what it's like. Not too bad. Liquid's definitely not soaked in properly yet. Um, it's barely getting any flavour off the liquid, to be honest with you, so I know it's not soaked in properly. But overall, this device I think's fantastic. Definitely one of the best clones I've ever seen. Uh, definitely one of the closest, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
uh, to the actual device as I've actually used a proper Qi U. Um, and I definitely can't see why the Qi U's any more money than this because it's not that much better. Um, not worth the price difference anyway. Quality wise, um, mine's perfect but uh, with clones the quality control or quality from device to device will vary. Um, now I can't remember exactly how much money I paid for this. Um, once again I can only give you the price in dollars because it completely depends on the um, on the exchange rate at the time. Uh, I paid um, should have all this information ready twenty four dollars, and with the exchange rate as it is at the minute, I think it's about seventeen eighteen dollars eight pounds. Sorry, um, so definitely well worth it. <coughs> So, I'll give it another last try, hopefully the liquid's soaked in a bit more. And then, uh, So as you can see, it works really well. And when the liquid's soaked in, it's definitely better than that. Um, so that's the cheer you. Um, I'm gonna have a video for, like I said earlier, the iOS TD at some point. Uh, so keep a look out for that. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I've also got a Twitter account. It's vapes89. So follow me on Twitter if you're interested. Cheers.